Zimbabwe's president will host a conference of creditors and finance executives today to discuss ambitious goals to clear debt arrears and restructure $12.7 billion in external debt, aiming to eventually tap international capital markets for the first time in more than two decades. Zimbabwe's debt pile accounts for 81% of gross domestic product, and clearing it would be a tough challenge for a country that has faced numerous financial crises in recent decades, from repeated bouts of hyperinflation to multiple unsuccessful attempts to launch new currency regimes. The issue of areas is a major albatross around our next said Prosper Chitambara, a Harare-based independent economist. It will be a long road. For now, even money from the International Monetary Fund, the world's lender of last resort, is unavailable for Zimbabwe. But experts say paying off areas is essential. Once the areas are cleared, it will be cheaper to borrow and easier to attract investment, Chitambara said. Zimbabwe's President Emerson Mnangagwa and the African Development Bank's AFDB President Akinwimi Edesina will attend the one-day meeting in Harare along with creditors, development groups and private sector representatives. Getting on track with bilateral creditors and clearing arrears with the AFDB, the World Bank and the European Investment Bank is necessary to unlock funding for Zimbabwe, once a regional bread basket that now struggles to feed its own people. Now, the IMF is currently precluded from providing financial support to Zimbabwe due to an unsustainable debt situation and external arrears, a spokesperson had said. Zimbabwe is targeting as a first step an IMF staff-monitored program which does not include financial assistance or require approval by the fund's executive board. An SMP government official says this would help Zimbabwe demonstrate a return to sound economic policies. But the government already missed its initial goal to have an SMP in place by April, as well as a second deadline last month. The United Nations estimates 24 out of Africa's 35 low-income countries are at high risk of debt distress. And since 2020, Zambia and Chad have finalized debt reworks. Ghana is wrapping up its own debt rework and Ethiopia is in the midst of restructuring. But Zimbabwe Zimbabwe is no ordinary default. While 45% of its burden is outstanding debt, the rest is arrears and penalties, according to a 2023 government presentation.